napkin ai tutorial and review hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with napkin ai napkin can turn your text into visuals so sharing your ideas is quick and effective it's especially helpful when you are trying to build notes and you're trying to simplify your ideas you can click to generate amazing visuals and then convert your visuals and polish them up however you prefer so let's get started with Napkin AI. To get started is completely free. Simply head on over to napkin.ai and click on get napkin free. Once you do that, you can proceed and you can sign up with your email or Google. I'm going to do a very quick and easy Google sign up on Napkin AI. So just proceed with the Google account that you want to be using to get started. And just like so, you can proceed on to Napkin. Now, once we have set up our basics, it's time to move forward and we're just going to continue on with our account verification. And once you have verified your account, you can proceed on to Napkin AI. There's no credit card required and you don't have to pay to use Napkin AI. Simply proceed with their basic questions like so. After that, you're just going to be led to your dashboard. Now we have completed all of our basic questions and now we can proceed on to our first napkin. Now to do this, simply click on create my first napkin and you have two options. You can directly copy and paste your text over here or you can generate text using AI. So you don't have to go to any third party AI tool to actually generate the content for you. If you are someone that has, you know, an idea and you just want to have it be verbalized or written down for you, you can simply write them with their generative tool. Next, generative tools are super popular. We all know ChatGPT. We all know all the basic competitors. And Napkin takes the power of all of those and it's able to create some text for you. So let's say I want to add the best practices for a hiring interview. Now I'm just going to click on continue and it will create the entire document for me. So all the text will be created just like so. And this would be what a regular text document that I would honestly create. It would look like this. It would be pretty standardized. So best practices are preparation, defining roles, JDs, key competencies, ideal candidate, interview questions, interview environment, conducting the interview so on and so forth. Now I can customize this however I want. This AI generated text is just as a draft. Once you have proceeded, you can click on generate visual and just like that, it will create a visual for you. Now, once we have clicked on this blue button, it's creating the visual for us. However, if you do want to alter, you know, the type of visual that is being created, if you want something different or you have something else in your mind, then you can also easily do that. So to do that, all you have to do is go on ahead. You guys can see the effective hiring process. Now I can click on this little visual that it has created for us and I want to customize this. So let's say that I want to maybe alter the execution part. So conduct, let's say I want the execution to be focused on conducting detailed interviews like so. Now, once you do that, just like so, you have this, you know, more detailed document. Next up, you can go into the next side, next element within your visual, and you can even change the title. You can change these icons simply by clicking on the icon. To change the icon, I can change it in color as well as the brightness. Then you also have the thickness as well as the shape. Then you also have this simple icon tool, which can help you in finding other icons that are relevant. If not, you can search for the icon. So let's say I want it to show an email. So I'm just going to search for email over here and it's giving me some other ideas for us to use like so. Now from here, I can proceed. And if you click on your entire visual, you will have a spark search label sketch and image. You can click on image to upload a image from your computer if you want to include those. Now, I don't want this to be our primary image that has been created. So I can even click on change style to build other styles. Then you also have the aspect ratio that you can alter. Now I'm going to be deleting this and I want a entire visual to summarize everything that has been said within my document. So I'm just going to do this and then we can click on our blue icon. And when we select everything together and we click on our little blue icon, it is easily going to create our document for us like so. And not only because this document is pretty detailed, it is not just giving me one option to show this, you know, visually, but it's giving me several different options. So I have, you know, a detailed version, a customized version. I can click on specify the visual. 
So you actually have several different types as well as the orientation. Let's say I want this to be an horizontal orientation and I want this to be super detailed. And I'm just going to click on apply and I'm going to let it find the appropriate visual that is horizontal. So let's just wait. And you guys can see we have this arrow one, we have this arrow visual, this one, as well as this one. I personally like, you know, these types of visuals a lot, but this looks pretty professional. I'm going to go with the colorful one. Now, when I select that, I can choose the type that I want. I prefer this type of visual. Now I can further proceed with altering any of the elements within. So you guys can see we have a bunch of text over here and we can customize this. So from here, let's say I want to remove the bottom text. So I can just click on this and just remove it if I only want to keep the headings like so. Now once I've done that, if I don't like the font, then I can proceed with clicking on the entire element. And then what I'm going to do is I just want to click on this, change the font to maybe Georgia. We have a few options here. And I want to use something that's very simple, such as New Times Roman. And then you can click on your entire element. And then you guys can see we even have these visual trackers. I'm going to go with this one here. And I'm going to, again, change the font. And you can even change the font sizing. So if I make it Excel, this is what it's going to look like. Large, medium, small, however I want. Obviously, this is going to be defined based upon however much content you have. If you have a lot of content, then you probably do want to, you know, add smaller fonts. Again, you can customize this however you like. And you can even increase or decrease the size like so to make a larger space for your element like so. Now, if you want to proceed, you can go back into your library and you can click on new napkin to build a new napkin. Now, you can import this from a file you can go with the blank napkin as well and you can even generate with AI but a blank napkin is going to give you the opportunity to type and visualize as you go which is great for solidifying ideas and improving your own understanding and even memorization and this is how you can get started with napkin AI it has been a great tool for me personally to build some visuals for my presentations as well as learning and the best part about using napkin AI is that it, you can get started completely for free you have 500 AI credits that you're given for free every week and then their plus plan gives you 10,000 AI credits per month and their pro gives you 30,000 AI credits their plus plan starts at $12 and pro at $30, which is pretty decent. And you can even save 25% if you choose to pay yearly. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And now you are also able to use Napkin AI for its amazing visuals and quick ways to visualize information to make it easier to understand, comprehend, and focus on. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can take those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.